Not everyone rides a motorcycle purely for pleasure. For some, a bike is an essential part of their job. It allows them to cut through the traffic and makes life much easier in a busy city centre. I'm talking, of course, about motorcycle couriers. My name's Sean Merrick. I'm the owner of Speed Curries in Manchester. We've been established now for just under 15 years. We have around about 40 couriers working here. Now, commonly asked question is what makes a good courier? What attributes are required? Obviously you need a bike and a full bike license. We won't employ learners. A courier needs to be resilient, to be prepared to work in our wonderful British climate. Other attributes, common sense, initiative, the ability to read a map, that might sound very, very basic, but it's incredible how many people don't have those attributes. We had somebody who applied recently for a job who couldn't even read an A to Z and couldn't find our address. Bikes required are in excess of 250cc, shaft drive tends to be common, and normally 500cc plus is the actual favourite for the long distance work, as we won't send 250cc bikes to London. Some couriers do indeed do their own maintenance and are uh, experts. Others hopefully realise their shortcomings and are prepared to pay a shop or a friend to maintain the bike properly because that's absolutely crucial A for their own safety and B to maintain their earnings potential. Although I have mentioned that shaft drive tends to be most popular, we have two particular bikes which have covered in excess of 300,000 miles each. One being a Yamaha FZ750, which is renowned for having the world's most uncomfortable seat, and also a Kawasaki GPX600. Over the years, we've delivered some very strange and wonderful items. Probably one of the most bizarre is 25 live snails that we collected from Chester Zoo. We've also delivered to many rich and famous people, the likes of the Gallagher brothers, Lisa Stansfield, Paul Johnson from Granada Men and Motors. Paul, who did he say? Well, that's what the boss thinks. What about the guys out on the road? Uh, Paul, we've grabbed a quick five minutes with you. It's fair to say you put in some serious hours, don't you? Yeah, a lot of hours. It's um, it's a job that where you're self-employed, it demands your time, yeah. effort. You know, it's not nine to five no. by any means. And obviously, you've got to be comfortable, and uh, this does the job. This is my baby. This yeah. is, this was a big investment. I've, um, you know, it's it's nine years I've done the job. It's a long term thing. It's not as though I'm going to do something else tomorrow. You know, no. um, this is what I enjoy doing. I enjoy getting up in the morning and riding a bike. You can tell you've got a big nice grin across yeah. your face there. <laughs> so you've invested in this. Have you always? I wanted a pan. Yeah. I from day one. Uh, I'd read the reviews, it yeah. just... The comfort it, mileage munch. Yeah, I, we'll I go got forever. on one as yeah. um, I was offered a ride on one and that was it, my heart was set. And yeah. Nine years, I would think I'm touching on half a million miles. Oh, so you've just been tootling around locally so, yeah, then, have you? staying local. <laughs> Absolutely. Staying local. <laughs> <laughs> now, the bike you've got, obviously, now, really, really comfortable and everything. Got a fair bit of space with all the panniers and everything. Obviously, you can fit quite a lot in this. Yeah, yeah, um... It's the, the vast majority of our work tends to be small items, computer parts, um, legal documents. So most really, you only need one pannier. Right. Um, occasionally, we have to strap awkward shaped things onto the bike, you know. But then you use bungee hooks and cargo nets. What like what like this way? Yeah. 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 I've been known to How take awkward. a set of golf clubs. Oh right. Yeah, I'd say that was fairly club. awkward. How many wing mirrors did you take out? <laughs> You've got uh, heated grips, I presume. Heated grips, what a godsend. A bit of comfort there in the cold Absolute winter months. Absolute comfort, comfort and hot, and very hot. And hot. And how does the intercom system work on this then? There's a radio in the rear top box, which um, is linked to the battery, obviously. Um, I actually hear everything through the speaker at the front here, which right. I have a little switch on just to turn it off if you're outside um, an office and people don't want a noisy radio. Uh -huh. I do have it very loud because at 80 mile an hour. You, you can can't guarantee, hear very much. No. Yeah, <laughs> you can guarantee if you're going down the motorway somewhere, yeah. 
But you, you don't do 80 miles an hour. No, no, way, do you? no. You're talking 70, aren't you? 70. Absolutely, yeah. 70. Obviously, you know, your bike is your means of making a living. You know, Absolutely. if this is off the road, yeah. you know, you're in trouble. You've just got to look after it, haven't you? I look after this um, and keep a spare bike in. I've got a GTR 1000. Right. I've also got a CX, but that's been butchered for bits. The, yeah. the they don't make them bits. anymore, do they? No. no. CX is um, an old workhorse. That, that, just that seems to be the, the common bite that you do see couriers on, though. Yes. W what's that got going for it that you would... Very, very, very reliable. Yeah. It's, um, it can easily be maintained. There's not a lot of... Um, maintenance cost to it either yeah. it's, um, I, I take it to keep cost on you, you you know you're doing a bit of the work yourself yes yeah, yeah. You, you I'm I'm not the best mechanic in the world but I can do an oil change and I can do a filter change and yeah. you know, I, try, I try I'll turn my hands to things I've got a very good friend that helps me out with the mechanics yeah and, and how many miles has this got on the clock this 80, has got 80,000 80, I've put 10,000 on this in nine weeks oof just a, just, just a few, just <laughs> Since a few. I've got it, the, the, the work seems to have come my way, so it's been a, you, you're really a proud wise of this, investment. Yeah. Yeah, I'm very proud of this. It's taken a long time. I've worked very hard to um, get there, you know. Yeah. I don't just work summers, you know. They, they work through the depths of winter, the ice and the snow. Yeah. I've been known to be out on a bike in the snow which enjoyable job though you know if you if you're going to be a, a, a biker you want to get out there in the day definitely. and definitely yeah. it, it's a mental attitude you've got to be ready to earn you've got to think pound notes and getting on in life and you know you're talking about pay is it like the quicker you get there the, the, the more money you get to get penalized if you don't get there on time or or what what else the score no um I, I will always say to a client, I'll ride within my abilities. I'll give them a rough idea of how long I'm going to take, and I'm usually pretty pretty accurate. It's hey. very rare I'm um, late on a job. <laughs> there you go, all your myths about couriers, just spelled by Paul here. What a model courier he is. <laughs> we'll, we'll let you get on with your wonderful job. Cheers, Paul. Thanks very much.